Ships are readying up. There we go. Okay, now we can finally get started here, folks. Now we can finally get started with uh, SCS number 169. Our first round matchup will, of course, be between Predator Island and Drunk Driving Simulator. Our first matchup, of course, is on Graveyard Rumble, quickly becoming one of my favorite maps. Uh, this is a repurposed map. Uh, originally, it was a map uh, that was uh, for Skyball and has been repurposed to uh, fit the needs of... Uh, deathmatch. It fits 2v2, 3v3, and 4v4. It's Dunes crossed with Duel at Dawn, except better than both. And here we go with the ship callouts. Let's start with ship number one. It is the Reborn, piloted by Sunstrom. It is a uh, Mercury Mobula, as I start the timer here. Mercury Mobula with double Artemis on the bottom, Gatling, and a Hades on the wings. Ship number two is the Cynical Raven, piloted by Mighty Keb, a Huacha Fish with double side caro. Ship number three is the Infinite Slice Truzuk, piloted by Infinity Omelet. We have a Shrike with a Lumber and a Artemis on one side. We have a Huacha Gatling on the short side. Ship four is the King Don River Bugs, piloted by Baron Don Wong. We have a Gat Artemis Pyramidian with side Banshee and a Gatling. Those are your ship callouts. As the Shrike here is uh, now Balloon Broken. It is Balloon Broken, and it is getting ram- Oh, a quick ram kill by Cynical Raven. My goodness, take out the Balloon and absolutely just deletes the Shrike from the match. First Blood Advantage goes to Red here. 1-0 in favor of Red. That would be Predator Island. King Dawn Riverbugs is in a bit of trouble right now. He is in a 1v2, but he is looking for cover and has found a little bit of cover. Uh, he has definitely found a little bit of cover. Not a whole lot here as Cynical Raven looking to turn the corner, get the watch out. He's got the watch out. He's taking out engines. That's a bad spot for him to be because his engines are out. That balloon is getting low. Let's watch the pyramid in as he bumps into environment. That's not good for him. He's down to about 10% perma. Let's look at the Cynical Raven right now as they are trying to take out the King Dawn. This could be a watch a kill or it could be a ram kill. It will be a watch a kill, in fact, by the Cynical Raven. It is 2-0 in favor of Red. Quick, clean kills picked up by, of course, Predator Island. Let's see what happens next, folks, as Red has wiped the board of blue here. Blue is down 2-0. to oh, Did not pick up a shred of perma off of red there. That's not good for them. Uh, looks like ships are starting to come back up. Both uh, blue has respawned. Blue's respawned west side of the map. That means, of course, they will be looking for red to come to them maybe a little bit. In fact, they are, all the spots are out. They're going to look for cover right now. Looks like they are going to look for the... Uh, looks like they're going to look for the uh, Leviathan there. The Leviathan wreckage. That, of course, is right over here. And the Shrike looking to back up. Looks like they want to maybe put some Lumber shots out there. That is a Lumber and Artemis side. Yes, it is. Lumber Art side. Lumberjack, of course, a good call to take against a Mobula if you can hit the Balloon. That's, of course, the critical part of it. If you can hit the balloon, it's a great weapon against Mobula because Mobula relies on its balloon. Meanwhile, we've got a uh, charge in here by the Cynical Raven. Cynical Raven with a watch of taking out three guns from the King Dawn Riverbugs. Meanwhile, the Infinite Slice Truzuk moving in on the Cynical Raven. Reborn now moving around the corner as uh, there is almost a balloon pop on the Reborn. No, there's a hole break on the Cynical Raven. Cynical Raven moved in a little too quick. Now, got a bit of a Huacha play right there by the Cynical Raven. They're going to watch up. Looks like they're going to go for the rest of that Huacha on the King Dawn. Yes, they do. The rest of the Huacha on the King Dawn. A good job right there by the Cynical Raven. Juking the Infinite Slice. And now the... Oh, oh that's a bad spot for the Pyramidian. Cynical Raven sees this. Cynical Raven sees this. They're going to go for the Pyramidian here. Let's look at the Cynical Raven as they're making that turn onto the King Dawn River Bugs. They're going to make that turn. They're going to get a watch out any second. You know that watch is loaded. There's the watch. Uh, not a whole lot landing in, but they do get some perma. They do get all the guns. Cynical Raven now getting focused by the blue side. Cynical Raven backing it up. Oh, they do finally get a hole break. Does blue, but not much perma hole damage there. Maybe about 10, 15%. That's not a whole lot. That armor goes back up very quickly. Cynical Raven now using the Rayborn as a shield as they are trying to bring their armor back up. Good teamwork by Red. Good teamwork by Red right there. It's about 
four and a half gone by in this matchup. Actually, about four and change gone by in this matchup. King Dawn moving in very aggressively on the Reborn. This might not be the best idea against a Reborn. Reborn, of course, is packing Hydrogen. In fact, there's the Hydro Burn. Will they get up? Yes, they will. Just barely gets over King Dawn. Yeah, that's not a good move by the Pyramidian. A little too aggressive right there. It takes him out of, out of position, and it will put the Infinite Slice in a 1v2 for a bit. Meanwhile, King Dawn, oh, their back is turned to the Reborn. Oh, this is bad for them. This is very bad. This is very bad. Reborn now has has their way with whatever they want. Infinite Slice is apparently getting focused right now. Watch it going out onto the Shrike. Shrike is getting watched. Now it looks like there could be... Oh, Cynical Raven bumps into the environment. Reborn, hole broken. Critical Raven, Cynical Raven, hole broken. Both of them hole broken. Reborn's in trouble. Reborn down about 40% perma. Watch it going out a little late right there for perma. They're looking to pick up a hull break, though. They didn't pick up much there on the uh, Reborn. Only two guns. Only two guns picked up. The King Dawn is hull broken, though. That's a Pyramidian hull break. Mobula looking to finish with those Artemi. Will they get it, though? Will they get it? That watch is probably going to go into the King Dawn right here. No, it's going to go, in fact, into both ships. No, it's going to go to the Shrike. Shrike is hole broken. Cynical Raven looking to finish it up. Oh, there's a kill on the Pyramidian. And there's a ram kill. Cynical Raven picking up the Shrike. It is 4-0 in favor of Predator Island. Four zero in favor of Predator Island, and uh, this is not looking good for Blue. This is not looking good at all. Not at all, as they really, really, really need to uh, step it up here. They did get some perma hole off the Reborn. Uh, they knocked them down about 60%. They got a little bit off the Cynical Raven, but not much. That's basically a scratch on the paint job. Maybe a dent on the on the, uh, on the the rear bumper or something like that. Not much damage, but not looking good for Blue. Not at all. They need to get five straight in order to win it. Checking the time right now. Uh, let's check that timer as we have about six and a half gone in the match. Uh, they are not paid by the hour as Predator Island. They are looking to finish this up fast as Blue starting to respawn. Blue has, in fact, respawned here. Let's check their position. Blue has respawned, and, uh... Here goes Blue. The spots are out for both sides. Spots are out for both sides. Blue really needs to clean this up. They really need to pick up the Reborn first, I would say. Uh, if they can get a good, if they can get a good watch out. The problem, though, is that Blue has taken ships that are not great against a, 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 a Mobula. They do have the Lumberjack, though. Uh, if they want to go for a Ram kill or a close-range kill against the Reborn, they need to get some Lumbers out. And if they can't get those Lumbers out, they're just not going to be able to do anything against the Reborn. They need to get Balloon Pops. King Baron, uh, excuse me, King... King Dawn Riverbugs going for the Cynical Raven. They're going to go jousting. They both miss. They both miss the joust right there. Cynical Raven driving by. Do they care about the uh, Shrike? They might. They might not. King Dawn Riverbugs moving in on the Reborn. They're diving a bit. They're going to ram into the Reborn a little bit here. Cynical Raven and the Shrike going at a 1v1 here. Reborn is uh, at almost full balloon. They can do pretty much whatever they want here. As King Dawn... Oh, they've been whole broken. They've been whole broken. They're going to try to rise up into the Reborn. Oh, this is a great move, except for the part where they run into the watch. And the Cynical Raven makes a mistake. They bump into an environment. They bump into the environment there. That's going to stop them from getting the kill that they were looking for. The Shrike, however, cannot ram kill, really. So, I mean, they can, but it's not advisable. Watch it going into the Shrike. Gatling going into the King Dawn. King Dawn's in big trouble right now. Oh, they're in big trouble. One more Artemis should do it. And there it is. There's the kill right there. Red wins cleanly 5-0. Not even much of a challenge here in this first round matchup. Um, but we will be right back, folks, with more Sunday Community Skirmish number 169. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back with more action.